Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you're not new, you already know what time it is. Bring this thing. So you guys, I'm in Family Dollar. It's gonna be a shipping life. Gonna go to work. We cannot forget the foundation today. I have to get foundation today because I'm out. Oh, and I got my color. Yeah, my color. Okay, I'm about to get the 341. This only thing. This only thing I really came here for. So yeah. Okay, you guys, what's up? So, I'm in the car now. I was able to get that, um, it's so accent. I'm over here looking at it, seeing what's going on. But, um, who are y'all hunking at? Because you can't be hunking at me. Oh, now you want me. But, um, I was able to get the foundation that I needed from Modern Family Dollar. Um, I should have went to the beauty spot store, but it's already late. It's like 7.36 to get some lashes for this week. Um, I don't know. I might still stop. But, excuse me. About to go home and start getting ready for work. All that good stuff. I need to fix my wig. I'm going to get my hair done on Friday. So, I need to message the girl and see if she add me in for Friday. Tomorrow's Thursday. We just got like two more days with this in my head. But it's Wednesday, you guys. We just want to make as much money as we can. I start my job on Sunday, so we just work in the club this whole week because after this week, I'm only going to be able to work Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for right now. And then once we go into like mandatory overtime, I won't even be able to work Saturdays because I'm going to find out more like when I start the job, but yeah. But stay tuned, y'all. I'm on Okay, y'all, it's 11 on 7, baby. We about to run this money up. Like, it's super early. I got on stage now. Literally, nobody was on stage. Like, nobody went to no stage. We about to make a whole bunch of money tonight the rest of the week. Like, I'm just in a good freaking mode. Like, it's all about me. It's all about me and my friends. It's all about getting my shit together. Like, bitch, we can get to that motherfucking money. That LaShawn, what the fuck money? Yeah, I love talking to boo. Hold on, what is it? Okay, y'all, it's 4 11. I gotta dress like around. Um, I got to my car at 2.56. A situation happened not with me, but with somebody else. Mm. <laughs> I ain't gonna be going to it right now, but. I gotta take my baby to school. She gotta be to school at 7. I gotta take my sister to work by 6 30. She gotta be there at 6 30 at sports school. And I'm dealing with something right now. So I'm gonna tell y'all about it. Just not right now. So yeah. I'm gonna be good. I can't find it. That was you. That was your motherfucking phone. Did I not go in there? Did I not go in there and look for her phone? Please tell me to go. Please tell me to go. Well, I said she won't give me a call between you. You want to be the best you can do? Maybe she'll call you? On what phone? On oh, my. I'll let her give me my phone. Please give me my phone. The fuck? I can't. I told Wood. It's the only reason I'm even still here is because of her fucking child and my child. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for them, I would have been fucking drove the fuck off. Like, you want to sit here? You want to go the fuck off on me when I'm... It's cold as fuck. You see what the fuck I had on? Like, you doing the fucking most right now, bro. Then if the police come, they're going to take you to jail. Then what? Then what? As a mom, you're not thinking about your fucking child. You, you, bro, you. You did me dirty. I was still your motherfucking friend. But when I'm going through something and when I need help and when I need support, you're nowhere to... Tequila, I drive you to work every fucking day. I had to literally 
get up and take my sister to work at five o'clock. You're a selfish ass person. You're selfish as fuck. You're selfish as fuck. I literally have to drive you and your son and my fucking sister and my child. What the fuck I would have drove off? I would have drove the fuck off, bro. Why the fuck you want? Don't take that shit no more. Whatever you want, don't take it no more, bro. Don't take that shit no more. Whatever you took, don't take that shit no more. I don't, 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 I don't. Okay, y'all. Lord, y'all. Tonight was just a lot. Um, I don't even know where to start. Well, I do know where to start. We're going to start with this, this first, right? This is the money that I left with or whatever. Tonight, like, I really we made this early. Tonight was real slow, was real dead. Like, it was people in there, they just weren't doing it. But I was able to pay tip on. I was able to pay for my food, all that good stuff. But it's not what happened at work. It's what happened after work, y'all. You really find out how people feel about you when they're drunk. Like, I really found out how somebody felt about me tonight. Somebody that I thought was a friend of mine. And it's just like... I feel like I need to sleep on it to figure out if I'm going to talk, talk about this on my vlog or come to the internet with it about it. I don't know. But in the meantime, we just going to strain this up and I'm going to let y'all know how much it is. Okay, y'all? But I'll be back. Okay, y'all. This is my money screened up. I'm out to um, count it and then I'll let y'all know. Okay, y'all, this is $232. That's $132. I'm going to have to lay down. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning, almost 8 o'clock. And when I get up, I'll just talk to y'all about tonight. So, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, what's up? So, it's the next day. And, child so much stuff then went on but in a previous clip y'all told me i mean y'all heard me tell y'all like a situation happened at work and basically i was gonna leave that vlog there i wasn't gonna go into it i was gonna leave it there because i just didn't want to like just bring this to the internet or whatever but today i go about my day doing what i need to do and somebody for the purpose of this video i'm not gonna say this person name you either know them or you don't like, I'm not saying a person name or whatever. But I'm over here. Somebody told me, oh, so-and-so over here on live talking about you. So I'm like, nah. I'm like, nah. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Click on her live and you're talking about the situation that happened at work last night. But the situation that you're talking about, you're not telling the whole story. Like, you're telling half of the story. All I heard was when I clicked on the live was, oh, Brie was manhandling me. Brie did this, Brie did that. That's what I heard. That's what made me come. Mind you. Okay, I also want to add this in there. As soon as I seen what she said on her live, like, y'all, we literally stay right next door to each other, but in different freaking apartment complex. I'm like, bro, ain't no way you finna sit up here and you finna lie like that. Like, I'm like, she gotta not remember what's going on. So, me, I pull up because I'm like, bro, we not about to do this internet shit. And I knocked on her door. Like, I'm over here trying to get her to come to the door. I did not knock. I did not pull up to fight you. So why would I pull up to try to fight you knowing that's your kid in there? I pull up to talk to you to really be like, like, you going to really sit here and be for real and say that you going to say all this stuff. So I just wanted to put that in there. Oh, and then also do, throughout the day, like she kept going live and talking about the situation. Later on that day, I did say on the live, I'm like, well, at this point, we can just fight because like. You, you just lying like you lying. And people be like, the only people that want to fight is people that's like guilty. No, bro. You want to fight. Hurt people want to fight. Like, when you feel like people is playing with you and when you're mad, you want to fight. But then I calm down. I'm like, no, I'm not about to fight her. Like, I'm not about to fight her because this shit is stupid. So I just want to come in here. And I'm grateful that I was even able to be vlogging yesterday and that I was able to get the clips that I got, which y'all going to see next as I, like, fill y'all in. But for a lot of y'all that don't know, some of y'all already know what's going on, some of y'all don't know what's going on. So, last night, I went to work. I have this, well, she, I have a friend that used to be a friend, but she's not my friend no more. Last night, before I got to work, I went and scooped my friend up. She asked me, she said, hey, Brie, can I ride to work with you? That's fine, you can ride to work with me because, bitch, we're friends. Like, I don't care about you, ride to work with me. Like, 
you can always ride with me. It's not a problem. So she get in the car. I should have known this was gonna be a red flag right here. But me, y'all, I just been a good, in such a good mood lately. Like I'm not thinking and thinking nothing about nothing. Like I just been in good mood because I'm literally just now like really getting back on my feet and really like doing the shit that I need to do, right? So she get in the car. I always speak to her, like her son, her son get in the car. Like before we go to work, we go drop her son off. Well, I go drop her son off because I drive us to work or whatever. Okay, my bad, y'all. I had to like clear some story shows, so I gotta really talk fast. And I'm talking fast, I'm sorry. So she get in the car, she don't say anything. Like I'm like, hey, I say hey to her son. He said, hey, she get in the car. I'm like, hey girl, how you doing? Didn't say anything. She had headphones for her headphones in her head. I'm like, well shit, maybe she just still having a bad day because she has been having bad days or whatever. So like that's understandable. Like sometimes I just need to give people their space. So I let that shit go. But me, I'm in a good mood. We get to work. I go in the dress room, do my makeup, get on the floor, immediately start making money. Then I, I'm, I'm over here, I'm over there. I'm not really paying attention to her, like how she working throughout the night because y'all, I'm trying to make my own money. And like when I go to work, bitch, I be focused. I be trying to like do what I can do so I get the fuck up out of here. So 252 came and the club literally like dying down or whatever. So I'm like, I'm about to go. Like I'm not about to sit here and wait until 3.30. But when I say I'm finna go, like I'm finna go to the car and I'm about to lay down. If y'all watch my Life of Brie channel, then y'all know, like, I literally be taking y'all with me throughout the day. So, like, I literally, once we get off work, like, me and my friend, we go pick her son up. Like, I stand in linen. We go pick her son up from Riverdale. And mind you, our club closed at 3.30. So, when we get off work, it's literally, like, almost pushing forward. So, we go pick her son up from Riverdale. Then we go from Riverdale all the way to Stone Mountain because I um, take them home to drop them off, right? And mind you, I don't mind because I know you have car issues and I want you to save money. Like, you don't have to spend your money on an Uber if you don't have to because, bitch, that's wasting money. But what I'm trying to get y'all to see is, like, I really was, like, helping her. So this situation that happened is really, like, pissing me off because what well, it did piss me off, I didn't calm down a little more because just, like, it is what it is. You got to see shit for how it really is and see people for how, really, how, how they really are, right? So... 252 come, I'm over here paying my tip out, um, talk to the house or whatever. She come up to me. At this time, y'all, she's perfect. To me, she's perfectly fine. I don't see nothing wrong with her. She don't look drunk to me. Like, she seems so fine. She was like, are you about to get ready to leave because I'm ready to go? I was like, yeah, I'm about to go to the car, but if you still want to um, make your money and stuff, like, don't feel like you just got to leave because, like, I'm leaving. Because sometimes I feel like, like, when she see me get dressed, like, she'll probably be thinking, well, let me just get dressed because I don't want to have her wait on me but that's why i told her i'm like you sure i'm like you still can work like i'll just wait on you in the car and at this time she had her phone in her hand like i seen her with her phone in her hand and she like all right she told me that she was about to go to the um we, we right here in front of the house and she told me she's like all right i'm gonna go get dressed like i told y'all she had her phone in her hand at this time so me i go to the car and i'm like it's like 2 52 it's not even three o'clock yet like it's almost three I'm like, well, she, I'm just about to doze off for a little bit because I, after I drop them off, I literally have to drop from Stone Mountain to Snailville to pick my sister up from work because she has to be to work at 6.30. And then drive from Peachtree and drive all the way back to Stone Mountain to drop my son off to school. So I'm like, let me just get some sleep. Like, I'm, bitch, I'm really tired, right? So I text her. Cause I'm like, normally, mind y'all, in a club, you have your days where you be drunk or you just be like, you just have your days. But at this point, I'm not thinking like she drunk or anything. So I text her and I'm like, hey, can you drive or whatever, right? And at first it didn't say deliver. So I'm like, shit, maybe her like phone did or maybe her phone like on D&D &D or some shit like that, right? So I just continue to just like doze off or whatever. Cause mind you, I'm waiting on her to come to the car because she told me, She's going to the back to get dressed, to come to the bar, right? I wake up, it's like 3.30ish or whatever, right? Because I'm checking my phone, and I'm like, she's still in here. I'm like, well, maybe she went back on the floor and made some more money, right? So I look at my phone again. My phone, the message is still not, like, sending through. Because normally, y'all, when she work, like, sometimes she have her phone on her, sometimes she don't have her phone on her, so I'm not thinking nothing of it. So then, bitch, I doze off again because I'm like, I'm about to get some sleep. So I doze off. I wake up. Don't you know it's like 4 o'clock in the morning? And at this time, the shit said delivered. So I'm like, wait, where's she at? And 
she like I woke up this time because like she knocked on the window and she came to the car. So mind you, I'm not on the driver's side. I'm on the freaking passenger side because I was knocked out like I was asleep. And she just got in the car and she started crying and she like, somebody stole my phone. Somebody took my phone. Woo -woo. And mind y'all, I'm over here asleep, so I'm still trying to like wake up and like figure out like comprehend like what's going on, right? So I'm like, what you mean somebody stole your phone? Like. Did you look everywhere in there? She's like, I look, my phone is gone. It's not in there. Whoop, whoop. And I'm just sitting there like, and at this time, I don't know that she drunk. Like, I don't know that she drunk until she started to crack the car up and she started going off. Like, she started hitting on the car like, somebody stole my motherfucking phone. Like, mind y'all, everybody gonna be mad about their phone. So I'm just like, okay, Brie, wake the fuck up. I had already had to get gas, so... She was pulling off while she was telling me what was going on. But before she pulled off, I said, hey, you don't want to go back inside and, like, look for your phone. You don't want to look for it. She was like, I already looked for it. It's not there. But I'm like, do you want to go look again? Like, we can go look again for your phone because it's like you need it. I'm telling her that she like, nah, we could just leave or whatever. So I'm like, all right. Like, before we even pulled off, y'all, I told her, I'm like, let's go in there and look for your phone. She said, no, she already did it, right? So we pulled off. Well, she pulled off. And at this point, I'm thinking she just upset and crying about her phone she was like just give me a minute i'm fine she literally did say she was like i'm not drunk just give me a minute i'm fine i'm just upset about my phone so i'm like all right bet so i'm like just pull up to the gas station over there like across the street so she pulled up to the gas station i was like i'm gonna drive or whatever so i go in the gas station bitch i bought me a coffee i walk up i woke up quick as fuck so i get back to the car we hop on the freeway or whatever on the way on the freeway to go pick up her son because we had to go pick up her son she like, oh, wants to go pick him up. Can we go back to the club and go get my phone? Go look for my phone. I'm like, well, because mind you, at this time, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Almost 5 o'clock. And the club closed at 3.30. And it was a Wednesday night. Nobody is going to be around that club that late. I'm like, if we go pick him up and come back, nobody is going to be at the club. So me, I at the next exit, I got off the exit and I drove back to the club. And I pulled back up so she can go look for her phone. So she in there for a minute looking for her phone. I'm just in my car or whatever. And the next thing you know, I see security. I see like three security men and I see her. They literally like got her. They're trying to like get her to get out the club. And then I see her punching people in the face, hitting people in the face. And I'm like, what the fuck? So immediately, bitch, I don't like the car. Cause what's up? What we need to do? Like, why is y'all like what's going on why is y'all doing all this right now so i'm like i'm talking to them i'm like what's going on you just hear her saying i lost my phone i lost my phone and they're like nah she tripping she in here hitting people we tried to let her look for her phone numerous of times she gotta go we finna call the police on her she gotta go like and i'm just sitting here like oh my gosh i'm like can i go in there and look for her phone for her i'm like let me look for it i said she looked for it but let me look for it and i'm like let me look for it because at this point i know she's drunk because it's like the way she was acting, you you act a certain way out of anger, but the way she was acting towards the security guards and just the way she was like, just the way she was acting, it was just giving, okay, you drunk. So the security people let me go inside and I looked for her phone. Y'all literally looked everywhere. Bitch, I went to the motherfucking um, lockers. The lockers was the first place I went because I'm like, how did you lose your phone? Like I went to the car at 252 and I come back and well, you come to the car and you don't got your phone. So I looked on the lockers, bitch, I pushed the lockers up, bitch, I looked in the bathroom, I looked in the couch, I looked in the seat, that was my first time looking, her phone wasn't in there, and I'm talking to everybody, they like, we already looked for her phone, like her phone not in here, and mind y'all, at this point, when somebody loses their phone, your reaction is to check, it's to call their phone and check it, right, so at that point, the message already sent, sent delivered from earlier, right, so I went and t sent another text message, at this point, I knew somebody stole her phone because this time, it didn't go through. And I'm like, if she been looking for her phone this whole time, somebody dead ass stole her phone because they literally had to, like, the shit had to be on. They turned that shit off. And I don't understand why people are stealing people's phones because, like, you can't do shit with it. So, I'm letting her know this, but in the meantime, she can't get back in the club because she's fighting, like, security and shit. Like, y'all, she's literally, like, fighting them. She don't remember this, but you definitely was fighting them. But me, I'm still trying to have her back because at the end of the day, bitch, you're my motherfucking friend. Like, you say you lost your phone, you wholeheartedly believe that your phone in here, bitch, let's go in this bitch and check it. And that's what I did. So, in the midst of me, the first time I'm in there checking, everybody put me on game, everybody telling me what's going on. And y'all, me, 
I'm not even gonna see her and say I know her because clearly I didn't know her. But the, even though she went on, like, did what she did, me seeing y'all son in this situation, I'm not even finna see her and just bash her and just go in on her because that's not what I'm finna do. I have never seen her be drunk like that. So in my mind, I'm thinking, like, did somebody put some shit in her drink? Because for one, we all drink and we have all been drunk. But the way she was acting, it was giving like somebody really put some shit in her stuff. So I'm over here talking to everybody. I'm like, what's going on? Like, like who got her phone? Like, I'm over here, bitch, what a phony. What a motherfucking phony. So I go back outside. She's still outside going off, fussing with security. This bitch throwing chairs, breaking the motherfucking chairs, like property of the club, throwing her shoe, banging on the motherfucking door. And at this point, I'm telling her, I'm like, put in a car, like, your phone not here. We didn't call it, I didn't text it, and it's not here. I said, come on, because we have to go pick your son up, and we have to go pick, I gotta go pick my son up. This was just like, no, bitch, fuck that, I don't give a fuck. Like, if it was your phone, like, y'all, we literally was outside for a good, like, 30 minutes if like if that minimum like we was outside for a long time because i was sometimes when people is drunk you literally have to just sit there and like let them just get it out so i just literally just got in my car because when she didn't want to go when she didn't want to get in the car the first time i just got in my car and i'd immediately like send my my brother already got my location but i immediately called him I'm like hey this is what's going on because mind y'all bitch my son is somewhere and i'm another place and i'm on the phone with somebody else and they literally hear everything that's going on right so i'm just letting her Y'all, it's cold as fuck. It is cold as hell, early as fuck in the morning. And this girl is literally just sitting there. Like, luckily, God was on your side and God was on my side because normally the police was literally be back there at the end of the night. And for some reason, the police wasn't back there. The club was starting to call the police on her so many times. I'm like, nah, y'all, just chill. Like, I got it. We rose together. Like, she's straight. She gonna be good. She just a little, like, drunk or whatever. Like, this one sound like, don't call the police. Like, she good, right? So... I'm in the car talking to them, telling telling the person on the phone with like what's going on. They're like, well, shit, you just need to leave her. Cause the the way she was acting, it was just like, bro, if the police, if the police come, you're going to jail. Like, you're going to jail. And I'm telling everybody, I'm like, the person on the phone, I'm not, I'm not about to fucking leave her because for one, I came here with her. Like, I'm not about to leave her. So I'm get back out the car. I'm like, can you please get in the car? Like, let's get in the car. She like, no, you don't give a fuck about nothing but yourself. You don't, you're not even trying to help me find my phone. I'm like, I literally went in there and looked for your phone. I said, I can go in there one more time for you to look for your phone. Bitch, I searched that shit like we was playing hide and motherfucking seat for the motherfucking golden ticket. That's how much I look for her phone. So the second time, because mind you, they're still not letting her in. Like, they're not letting her in the fucking club. The second time, after I got out the car, I'm, I'm trying to get her to come back in the car. She like, you don't give a fuck? I'm like, I do care. I'm like, I'm trying to help you. I'm looking for your phone. I don't know if she thought, well, shit, she said that she thought I was looking for her phone, but I literally was that ass in here helping you look for your phone. So me, because they're not coming to the back door because she's just banging on the door and she just saying all this stuff. So I go to the side door and I see management, the manager or whatever, who you cussed out. And the one who was telling me like, no, like, she can come back tomorrow and get her phone. Like, we're not letting her back in here. I said, can you please just let me look in here one more time for her phone? He like, you can look, but her phone's not in here. Like, it's not in here. So, me, I'm going there one more time. I go looking for her phone. Bitch, I'm looking in. I'm looking at places you wouldn't even think to look for a fucking phone. And I'm over here looking at my phone, trying to see the dimensions and deliver or whatever. So, one of the security people, like, it's so many security. One of the security people, like, oh, she's still out there. I'm like, yeah, like, we trying to find her phone before we leave because, for one, she was finna get ready to, she's moving or whatever, moving back to Virginia. She leaving on Friday. So, I'm like, we really do need to find her phone. So, I'm in there just, like, looking for her. And they're like, you're looking for a phone that's not in here. And it was like, you really, like, need to leave her because she's not coming down. You need to leave her. And I'm telling them, like, I'm not about to leave her because, for one, y'all clearly see she's not in the right state of mind. Like, I'm not about to leave her. Everybody's telling me to leave her. And I'm like, no, I'm not about to leave her. So, this is where shit went down. This where shit went good. I come back outside and y'all gonna see these clips too. Or whatever. I'ma play these clips, but let me let me tell this first. I come back outside and at this point time is going by. I call the babysitter to where her son at. I'm letting her know like everything that's going on. I'm like, hey, she done lost her phone. We see her trying to find it. Whoop the whoop. That was the first time I called. I said, but we will be going away to come get her son. Mind y'all, I'm over here thinking about going to get the keys. Cause bitch, first of all, it's a school night. Or whatever, right? 
So I'm so please get in the car. They're gonna call the police. And if they call the police, you won't go to jail. I don't have your parents' number. I don't have nobody number that I can call to contact you. And I damn sure can't bail you out right now because I don't got no money right now. So I can't bail you out. And I'm telling her that and she like, no, fuck that, leave me here. Like I'm not leaving without my phone. I'm like, but it's not here. Then I'm like, you can just we can come back tomorrow. Like you can come back tomorrow and see if your phone's here, right? She just keep going off and she just like, no, I'm not about to get in the car. So me, it's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do at this point? Do I supposed to just sit here and wait on her to get her shit together? Or do I get her in the car? Because for one, yeah, you see her having your moment. And I understand everybody go through stuff. And I understand everybody, like, deal with situation different. I'm not saying that she was wrong about being upset about her phone. But how you went about it, the way you was hitting on people, you was just doing too much about that. So me, I'm like, please get in the car. Please get in the car. So I'm trying to grab her to put her in the car, y'all. When I tell y'all... I'm literally trying to just grab her to put her in the car. So in the midst of me grabbing her, she's getting upset. She's getting more rowdy. So we're over here tussling. Bitch, my motherfucking wig that came off because she's trying to like pull for me. So bitch, I'm pulling her. And in the midst of me pulling her, bitch, like, y'all, this bitch, when somebody is drunk, y'all, like, when somebody is drunk, it's just like, they, they like the motherfucking Hulk. Like, I'm like, please get in the car. Like the whole time I'm grabbing her, I'm like, get in the car like i'm literally having to grab her and push her in the car but she don't want to get in the car i said bro at this point you don't give a fuck about nothing like you don't give a fuck about your kids you don't give a fuck about your own kids so after i'm trying to tussle with her to put her in the car this bitch really came out her mouth and started saying how the fuck she really felt about me and when she did that at that point i was like brie record brie record and some of y'all might be like well brie why you didn't record before because bitch who the fuck is thinking to record this shit? Like, yeah, we YouTubers, but nobody is thinking to record this shit. Like, bitch, we trying to help you find your phone. And for me, I would have been a fucked up person to even record. And everybody told me I should have recorded how she was acting. But I feel like I would have been a fucked up person to even be been have recording how the state, how fucked up you was. Like, friends don't do no shit like that. Like, friends be sticking by you. So, she was like, bitch, fuck you. You not a motherfucking friend. You scammed me this summer. You wasn't there for me this motherfucking summer. You really scammed the fuck out of me. Woo -woo -woo. And me, me, bitch, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. Almost 5 o'clock. Probably 5 at that point. Yeah, pushing 5. And I'm, I'm like, bitch, what? Like, what? I'm like, you want to say this now? Like, you literally want to say this now. Like, you want to sit here and say I'm not a friend when, bitch, I could have left? You want to sit here and say I'm not a friend when I'm telling these people to not call the police? You want to sit here and say I'm not a friend, but I'm trying to help you not go to jail because if you go to jail and you don't even have your phone unless you know motherfucking numbers by speed dial, let's just say even if you do know somebody's number by speed dial, if you would have went to jail, bro, it would have been hours before you would have got out, right? Let's just say if you, if you was going to get out quick as fuck. In the meantime, me, because, bitch, I wasn't drunk, I'm sitting here being rational. We we gotta worry about your son, we gotta worry about my son. How am I gonna explain to your people about your child? Like, how am I even gonna go to the babysitter? Luckily, the babysitter who was like watching her son, she has watched my son before, so she would've let me get her child, but how am I gonna explain this to you? So it's like, at this point, I feel like the best decision was for me to get you and put you in a car. I don't know what you remember. I, don't, I feel like you're trying to make yourself remember something that's gonna make Stick with your story, but God knows, like, I literally have the best intentions for you. And I'm not just saying where you're hurt, hurt is the same way that I'm hurt. And this situation is really fucked up because I wasn't even gonna come on here and do this. I was gonna let you sober up and I really was gonna be like, okay, she gonna come to her senses. Like, I wasn't finna do none of this. But when you came on this internet and you started playing with me, we gonna sit here and say the only person I gave a fuck about you was the house mom. The only reason the house mom even allowed you to get back in is because you kept telling me, you was like, leave, leave. Management was like, she can't come back in. She done, she fired, she can't come back in. Don't let her back in. But because we got into a tussle because you didn't want to get into the fucking car, now the house mom is like, okay, because bitch, we not gonna just leave you here. You're not gonna get in the car with me. We still gotta make sure you straight. So she went back inside or whatever, called her Uber or whatever. I let her find out that, and I'm gonna play, y'all, I'm gonna play these clips or whatever, but I let her find out that they were saying that it was deeper than a fucking phone. Like she was tripping off 
some other stuff. And I honestly, to God, feel like that shit was way deeper than, than a phone because it took you, it took this situation for you to sit here and say how you really felt about me. Then you want to sit here and say, I really knew how you felt. You think I'm about to be going out my way to be, um, fuck the ride to work, going out my way after work to do what I was doing. And y'all, I just, this situation is so messy it's just so crazy because i just feel like i'm always in some bullshit and when some bullshit happens it's like i'm always the fucking problem like it's me but i'm gonna play the recording for y'all real quick i'm gonna play three recordings i'm gonna play the recordings when i start recording when she was talking shit about me and i'm still trying to freaking help her and i'm still not trying to pull out even after we got to tussling and i'm trying to get her in the car i still was not trying to leave her like y'all if i would have left her and something would have happened to her how was I going to explain that to her child? How was I going to explain that to her people? How was I going to explain that to y'all? Like, be for real. So, let me play these clips. I can't find it. I can't with you. That was your motherfucking phone. Did I not go in there and look for her phone? Okay. 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 That's fine. Okay. 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 On what phone? Oh my, I let it give my phone to my phone. The fuck? Okay, I told Wilda, the only reason I'm even still here is because of her fucking child and my child. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for them, I would have been fucking drove the fuck off. Like, you want to sit here, you want to go the fuck off on me when I'm, it's cold as fuck. You see what the fuck I had on? Like, you doing the fucking most right now, bro. Then if the police come, they're going to take you to jail. Then what? Then what? As a mom, you're not thinking about your fucking child. You, you, bro, you. You did me dirty and I was still your motherfucking friend. But when I'm going through something and when I need help and when I need support, you're nowhere. I drive you to work every fucking day. I had to literally get up and take my sister to work at 5 o'clock. You're a selfish ass person. You're selfish as fuck. You're selfish as fuck. I literally have to drive you and your Whatever you want, don't take it no more, bro. Whatever you want, don't take it no more, bro. Chris not gonna let her in. I got it. Okay, I got it. Okay. It's crazy. It's like you to get bumped to sit here and say how you really felt about me. Bro. If you feel like a bitch, it was felt. I I felt I like you. I felt like you felt like that. Like we for it's not. You don't want to talk about it. No, it is. You just manhandled the fuck out of me for no reason. I don't want to talk about it. I'm gonna say how I felt because you just manhandled. So I didn't pay you. So on you your didn't your get your money. Your son and my son. Even after I knew your shit was a scam, I still gave you money. Even after you gave me. And on your son. I didn't give you $1,500. No, I told you the biggest ass you ever gave me. Because I was trying to help you. 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 Friends don't give a okay. fuck about each other's kids, okay. bro. You don't give a fuck about oh, your own child. Me, I know the address. You don't give a fuck about your own okay. child. You don't give a fuck about your own child. You don't give a fuck about your child or my child. See, a bad friend would have left you right there. That's what a bad friend would have did. That's what a bad friend would have did. A bad friend would have fucking left you. Whatever, whatever play out right now from this moment on is going to be taken care of. And I need you to get in your car and go get and go get cars. That's all I'm asking. Because right. at this point, I'm done. Well, at this point, I'm asking. Can I use your, can I use your uh, phone to call over, please? You can come in for five minutes and look for your phone, but you cannot say 
I won't say shit. Police, okay? And then can I please use yes, your phone to call it? Nikki, can you just call me? Cause I'm about to go. Uh, yeah, I will. Right. So this is Bree Mulan. Alright, I can hear you. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can. Okay, listen. Can you please tell me what you witnessed last night? I haven't heard anything since last. Hey, do you have? Anything? Oh, sorry. Um, I no, listen. Tell me what you witnessed last night, like when everything went down. Everything. Like, what did you see? Besides the fact that I think I was out when it first started, was just uh, before I was already helping her look for her phone before the club ever even closed, and I was still calling after the club closed. But I had came outside to turn the car on. When I walked back inside, it just, it literally had just started. She was yelling at everybody because it was messing with her, basically teasing her about her phone. And that happened. Then, what did she do? Oh, she had disrespected Chris. And Chris was like, if you keep talking to people like that, you gotta go. And so that's how she ended up getting what? put out. She so took all the chairs with her head off to the red on her stage. Broke the seat. Uh, then she was outside. And when I came outside, the uh, move made some room in the car. She was sitting on the floor with no shoe crying to you. Then you was there. You got there. Steve. Quite fast. Well, I had never left. I was on the other side of the parking lot. Oh. But tell me what you seen. What did you see me do? Huh? I said, what did you see me do? What do I think of it? Yeah, like, what's your opinion of how I reacted to the um, situation? I'm going to say, well, she was drunk. My mom said she was lit or whatever. Or she thinks somebody did something to her. And then, I don't think you're wrong. I think you're a good friend for staying or at least trying to. I don't think nobody's wrong. Well, that's a lie. I think everybody is wrong in this situation. Being, but I think you were right for trying to stay and help. And look around. She was just clueless and didn't know what was going on. Yeah. You think, tell me where you felt like I went wrong at. Just with the whole yelling and aggression thing. She was clearly in a frugal state. Mm -hmm. That was the only part. Because as soon and I knew to tell my mom to go out there because, oh, I think we could hear her yelling through the door. And she, oh, no, they were still messing with her ass. Through the door, she was like, I don't even fuck with y'all. I'm gonna talk to Miss Nikki. And I was like, okay, well, maybe my mom needs to go out there. Mm -hmm. That's the only part. I understand he was trying to be patient and stuff. But that's it. All right. I just wanted to call and just get everybody's opinion because she literally said that I was not trying to help her, that I fought her, like I beat her up. Well, when my mom come, when she came in the inside, and my mom calmed her down and talked to her, she finally got to explain that to her. So she, she's understanding what happened. Because she really feels like you didn't try to help her. I don't know why, but probably because she couldn't see you helping. But everybody explained to her how you came in there and looked around and stuff multiple times. And, yeah, my mm -hmm. mom told her all that. <laughs> All right. If you can, can you send me your mama number? But don't text it to this number. Text it to my number. Okay. All right. And thank you again for making sure she got home. Okay. So basically, you was there last night and you got to see like what happened inside. I only got to see like what happened outside. But basically, today she woke up and basically was telling people that I wasn't trying to help her. Like basically, like I just did her wrong. I fought her. And that I wasn't being a friend to her. And I'm just calling everybody to get everybody's opinion. 
well, not their opinion, but to get everybody's statements so they can say what they actually saw. Hold on real quick. Basically, just calling everybody so they can tell me, like, exactly what they witnessed because she's literally, like, making it seem like she didn't do anything wrong and that I was, like, I don't know. I just want to call everybody and see, get their statement. Well, I really don't know what happened outside, but I know that you did come in twice, like I told her, and try to find her phone. I told her that myself. Mm -hmm. But I think our issue is a little bit deeper than that. That's what I said. <laughs> but what makes you, okay, what makes you feel like it's deeper than that? Because um, some of the things that she was saying, which are none of my damn business. Mm -hmm. Um... And the fact that, you know, she feels like that she's been a better friend to you than you've been to her. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say it has to be deeper. It has to be things that have been compiled on and on and on. Okay. Did I leave her up there or did she tell me to leave her? Uh, she told me to leave. You know, like you're not been a friend, so she wants you to leave. Okay. I just wanted to call just to, like... To, to clear this shit up, cause she literally got me like. Sh mm. But I appreciate you, Nikki, though, for. I need to talk in private because, like I said, it's more to that than just that incident. I knew. First of all, I knew it was more for when. Literally, I didn't even know she was feeling no type of way when we was outside, and I'm like, "Hey, get in the car, get in the car," and she like, "No, bitch, fuck you. You're not my motherfucking friend. You scared me. You did this. You did." I'm like, "Wait, what?" Like, what? I'm like, you feel this way all of a sudden? Like, we literally ride to work every day when she work. Pick, take you home every day. And it's like, now you saying something? Yeah, well, I it. You know, it's like, I, I don't know. I feel like she felt like she didn't have nobody. I know she did feel like that. And I hate that she felt like that because that's not what it really was. So I think maybe I just need to sit down and talk because... Sometimes people don't. I think she got to a breaking point and then everything just kind of came out. Yeah. I think that's what happened too, though. <sighs> but, all right. You working tonight? Oh, no. I will be nowhere near you guys. <laughs> all right. Well, I will see you next time you come to work. All right, baby. Bye. All right, bye. Hey, Will. I'm sorry I missed your call, and I'm sorry I keep calling you. Okay, so <laughs> the situation that happened last night, like basically, I just want want you to tell your side of like what you witnessed because bas she basically said like I didn't help her. Oh shit, he hung up. Let me call her back. Hello. Go ahead, my bad. Go ahead, my bad. But basically, like, she on the internet telling people, like, I manhandled her. I wasn't trying to help her look for her phone. I'm not a good friend. I did her dirty. And I'm just calling everybody so they can say, like, exactly what they witnessed. Oh, get the fuck out of here. For real, she swung you like that? Yeah. That's crazy. You tried to help that girl. That is crazy. Like, tell me, like, tell me everything you seen last night when she went low with her. Shawty came out, was looking for her phone. Um, He was all out there while she was looking for her phone. We told her, he was like, hey, go ahead. You know, she was looking around, around looking for her phone. We wasn't saying that, but she was turning up on everybody while looking for her phone. She's been to be real disrespectful, saying all type of stuff to everybody. So really, people was trying to stay away from her to keep from getting into it with her because she was upset, really, about her phone. I don't know what she was on, but she was on something. She, uh, we thought she was drunk, but it had to be a little bit more than that because she was going crazy. And uh, Mr. D told her, the cleanup dude told her, hey, you know, I've been looking around, but, you know, Mr. D will find the phone. So he just got to wait till everybody leaves. And then, you know, if it's in there, he'll find it. So he was looking for her. And then she turned up on him. He was trying to help her. So she 
she was turned up on him, started disrespecting him, called him all types of names. Um, so he said, well, look, Don, I'm going to go ahead and leave you alone. You go ahead and finish watching your phone. We're looking for your phone. I'm not going to help you because you, you're being disrespectful. So she walked off, still looking for a phone the whole time, didn't find it in there, still looking for it. Come back up on Mr. D, Mr. D said, baby, I looked over there. I, I've been looking around, but I ain't seen it. As soon as he said that to her, he started going going off again. So now she, well, this is why you outside waiting on her <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. So she started, uh, she started really, really going there. So Chris come out. D went and go get Chris. Chris came out. Hey, we just told you, you know, we're going to look for your phone. She started cussing Chris out. The manager started going in on Chris. Chris said, look, if you ain't going to listen, uh, uh, there's nothing we can do for you. I'm not listening. Chris said, just get out there. Just go ahead and go. She wouldn't leave. So Chris made us uh, uh, put her outside because she was trying to fight everybody. She was fighting everybody. We had to grab her. She was trying to pull over stuff. She was throwing things, throwing stuff off the bar. Get her outside. She starts going in, starts going in. We telling her, hey, calm down, calm down. She won't calm down. That's when she's out there with you. <laughs> you trying to help her. Come on, get in the car. Come on, don't worry. We're going to find your phone. This is what I heard you telling her. Come on, come on, get in the car. I don't want to hear it, though. She just was going and kept going and kept going. In. And the next thing I know, <laughs> she's outside, all types of crazy shit going on. I just definitely went back in because I was tired of dealing with it. Charlie has left. Something wrong with her. I don't know what, was, what she was on last night, but she was too disrespectful and she was too, she was all of a sudden, so what nobody trying to deal with that? Ain't nobody going to help you if you, you know, cussing them out and disrespectful. She said, she said that y'all basically like put y'all hands on her first. Like y'all Put, kicked her out the club for no reason that she didn't touch y'all i don't know if you was out there but when i was out there i had seen how she smacked um the guy in the yup the like green shirt or whatever with the dread she smacked him in the face yeah. mm -hmm. you she, she put her hand she did that inside when they was trying when we was trying to get her chris said get her up out of here so as we was trying to get her out, but we telling her go, she said, I ain't going nowhere. So she started swinging. Me and Chris have to grab her physically to so, get her out because so, she's not, but she's fucking. She's saying she's not going nowhere. So Will, so she put her, her hands on them first, right? Yep. Okay, because she's like, the only reason I'm even calling everybody is just because like, Lord knows, like everybody kept telling me just leave her. And I'm like, y'all, I can't I leave her. her. I told you to leave her too. You wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you said you was telling me I can't do it. Well, I can't. I can't leave her because you know we got this going on. This, this, this. And I was like, fuck that. She going too crazy right now. So you know. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong. With I feel like somebody that, probably put something in her drink because she never acts like that. Like even on alcohol, she never acts like that. But, I ain't never seen her. I don't even know Shawty, but I, I from seeing her in there, I ain't never seen her act like that either. She don't never act like that. Like she real, she a sweet person. Like she quiet and stuff. That's why I was like, y'all, I can't leave her. Like I'm not about to do that. So I feel like somebody really had to like do something to her for her to be acting like that. Because today, she waking up today, and the story that she remembered is not the story that happened. She just remembered everybody putting their hands on her, and she's not remembering what she did to everybody else. <laughs> That's as usual, guy. <laughs> you been drink or somebody gonna fight you, spike your shit, or I don't know. I ain't been seeing that. If that's the girl, just with her, I don't know. Yeah. But, I don't know. Oh, was you, you know, outside when we was back there? Well, you know her. You know, I don't know these girls, so I don't know what they really doing. I don't know. Drop a pill, but I don't know what they doing. It's <laughs> no go. But she, no, I'm not even going to sit, even though she like saying everything she's saying, I'm not even going to sit here and just say, she, I know for a fact it had to be something because she's not the type, like she a drinker, but that's it. Like she don't do nothing else. That's why I'm like something not right. But was you out that there when. That drink you know that drink will take you in them same places she was at. You think so? Yeah. 
Hell yeah. I've seen it. You know, I've been doing this business 15 years, man. When you off that drink, that shit will take you all the way there. Mm. I've seen it too. Like the motherfucker Vigo nigga did the same shit the other day, gang. We had to put the Vigo nigga out for us because he was in there turning up doing the same shit. Mondo had to grab that nigga and put him outside physically. Was you back there? Was you back there outside or was you in a club when we, me and her was tussling and I was trying to get her in the car and she was saying the stuff she was saying? I was in the club. I had say. heard it. I ran out. It was already done when it finished when I got out there, though. I, I, I seen y'all. I heard y'all. I was out there telling you was trying to get her in the car. But she was bucking. She was like, I'm not leaving without my phone, which I get it. I understood where she was coming from. She just yeah. went about it the wrong way. Like, we helping her. We was in there helping her at first. Mm. Like all of us in there looking for a phone, like all of us, and then she started being disrespectful. So when we heard that shit, we was like, "Oh, <laughs> that ain't no sense of us helping you looking for no phone." You talking about fuck all of us? We all the same, all that shit, crazy talking, crazy shit out the mouth. We not gonna help you. We not doing that. Mm. And I don't know her, so I'm like, you know, I'm really like, bitch, fuck. That's how I was about the situation at first. I was like, you know, I'm for the babies. Hey, let me help you find the phone. You know what I'm saying? No, but that's how I got towards the end when she started. When she was like, bitch, fuck you. You not my motherfucking friend. I was like, bro, what? See? See? Yeah. I was like, all right. I'm not your friend, but I'm in here helping you look for this phone. Wait, Lord. Two hours. <laughs> trying to help her still and just helping me out because that shit was crazy and i thank you for clearing the shit up because she really dragging the fuck out of my name and that shit pissed me off no she can't drag you she can't do that nigga you know i got you gang i was there she can't drag me so if you need me you know i got you i ain't gonna lie to you i was there i was there helping her out and shit you know what or whatever mind y'all the way me and her met i know this story is so fucking long but i just want to sit here and say this i have never wanted anything from you but the best from you and i hate how you feel how you feel but for you to honestly feel like i didn't have your best intentions when i constantly reached out to you and i'll put the screenshots i'll either put the screenshots on the um thing or matter of fact this video is going to be so fucking long bro gonna be so long i probably have to make a freaking part two but i don't even want to make a part two because i just want to leave this shit right i just want to leave it right here i hate that you feel like i didn't help you i hate that you honestly the guy felt like i wasn't trying to look for your phone like y'all heard her and then y'all heard security like bro i literally was trying to help her i did the best that i could to help her but for you to sit here and say that i i scammed you i played you you was with me we was together you seen what i went through you literally was coming to me and telling me how my nanny was sitting there telling you that I was talking about you. And I literally went, because y'all, I have cameras in my house. I literally pulled on my camera and I showed you everything that she told you was a lie. And he was like, oh, dang. And then you want to sit here and say that I tried to slash your tires? Bro, I never said I was going to slash your tires. The babysitter said I should slash your tires. I never said, I said, bro, I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to do that. She had a whole child and she still got to work. I'm not about to do that. I'm not no evil ass bitch and I hate how people try to paint me. Y'all, if I was an evil person, if I didn't give a fuck, I would have left. I would have left, but why would I leave you there? And another thing, you want to sit here and say that I was po pocket watching you and that I was harassing you for your money. If y'all ain't been watching my life for Breach Channel, go watch my life for Breach Channel because this summer has been the worst summer of my motherfucking life. Of my life. Like, a bitch, a bitch went broke. I lost everything. 
not everything, but I just basically like, I just went broke. Like everything I worked hard for got snatched like that. The way me and her even like started, the way she even ended up at my house, because for one, you made up in your mind that you wanted to come to Atlanta. I'll probably put this on the screen and y'all could probably just pause this shit, but I'll put, y'all put a screen recording of it and then y'all can just motherfucking pause it. But you made up in your mind that you wanted to move to Atlanta or whatever. And me, before you even came to Atlanta, I'm over here like, oh, you should make sure you do this. Make sure you get a job. Make sure you do this. Don't go to these areas. Don't go to that area. And then being a the person that I am, I'm like, oh, you can come stay with me. You can come stack your money because y'all at the time, it's literally me and my son. It's just us. Like, bitch, we, we better be here because we was at my mom's house. But I'm telling her this. It was your idea to come here. I didn't, I didn't force you to come here. It was also your idea to join a boot camp. I did not tell you to join a boot camp. You came to me and said you want to be on a boot camp. After the second time of you already been on a boot camp. Do you want to see her and had a nerve and say I scammed you? I kept asking for my money because I was going in my own pocket to pay for shit. And you knew that. You knew that. So I don't I don't I'm not understanding why you see her lying. Like, it's just like you gonna feel how you feel. But for you to sit here and say I wasn't there for you, like we just didn't go through all the shit that we just fucking went through, be the fuck for real, bro. Be for real. If anything, nobody was there for me. Like, people really dropped me the fuck out, so I had zero, zero dollars. And when I lost, when I lost everything, when I had zero dollars, then I was no longer beneficial to others. And when people see they're, they not beneficial to you, they want to have nothing to do with you. I really was going to come over here and just say, like, so much shit, but fuck it. I'm not even going to say it because, for one, I already said my piece earlier. I already said everything I needed to say. And it's just like, bro, you played yourself. You fucked yourself up out of, out of a good friend. Somebody that was there for you. Somebody that was telling you not to. Somebody that was letting you stay rent fucking free. Yeah, you paid me that $1,500 for the boot camp, but that shit literally went to my boot camp. I didn't touch no money off that. And you know that. So, of course, I'm going to keep begging for my fucking money when you're in here not doing nothing. All you have to do is go to work. I'm seeing her busting my ass every motherfucking day. Waking the fuck up, going to the club, doing DoorDash. Like, I literally was working so hard. Bitch, you would have thought a bitch was like... I was busting my ass every day. So, of course, you're going to be sitting here harassing somebody about your money. That they need to send you. Like, I don't know, y'all. This shit, the situation is messed up. It's messed up how I had to find out how you really felt about me. But even, even still, after all that... At the all, like, this going back and forth from the internet, like, I still don't wish nothing bad on you. I still want you, I want you, even when you was going through your little sad stage, I still did the best that I could to motivate you, to push you, to like, hey, come on, let's go to work. Hey, do this, hey, do that. Hey, let's make content. Hey, I can help you do this. It's like, what else was I supposed to fucking do? If you're literally sitting here showing people how they can get in a better situation and they're not listening to you what else am i supposed to do i have my own son to fucking take care of and to fucking worry about and everybody be fucking forgetting that like when you sit here and you start putting your motherfucking foot down and worry about your own self what the fuck was i supposed to do because i literally was about to be put the fuck out and i have nowhere to go because of the situation that was going on but luckily god been on my motherfucking side so it's just like i don't know y'all like i don't i don't, I don't know I really honestly God don't fucking know. But I wish you nothing but luck. You can say what you want to say, but hopefully you know that I really did have the best intentions on helping you find your on your phone. I hate that we even had to tussle. I hate that I had to you say I may help you to push you in a car, but it was literally strictly so you wouldn't go to jail. It was literally strictly so we can go get your son so I can take you back home safely. That was that. Um I don't know if I'm gonna make another part two because like i said it is screenshots like i can literally sit down and make a whole story time about her but it's just like for what because i know i know what i did and i know what i didn't do i know how i was a friend i know bitch you watched me you you was here you was in here with me watching me get scammed you you seen the money that i was spending you seen how we both got played so it's just like how did i use you if anything I feel like, bitch, I'm really the clown of the year. And I really was just being used for fucking rise at that point. So, for you to say her side didn't check up on you, that's a lie because I did. 
So yeah, I'll probably at the end of this video, I'll probably include screenshots or whatever, but I don't know. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna edit this video, but Okay y'all, so I'm just gonna insert the screenshots here. Y'all probably just gonna have to pause the video to like read everything. But I'm about to put everything in. Well, not like every single little screenshot of every little thing, but I'm just about to put like screenshots in of like how I literally felt like I was trying to check on her, trying to make sure she's okay, trying to motivate her to like, hey, let's do this, let's do that. So yeah. I also want to come in here and add this. So, all the text messages that y'all just seen, like the ones that y'all seen, y'all seen me, like, texting her. Like, we was, I was on the, we was on the phone at first, and then I started, like, texting her. But basically, y'all, life has been life for everybody. Like, I have been so honest with y'all on my Life for Breach channel. Like, I've been telling y'all, like, bitch, I literally took ill. So, we we was at her house or whatever and we talked and she basically told me like she was behind on her bills she was behind on her rent woot, woot, yada yada and that she had to pay her rent or whatever and that a new month was coming up and she don't have the money for that so when she told me that y'all i'm like okay well let's figure this out because let's figure it out like let's go to work let's grind i said i can rent you a car if you want me to so you can catch up on your bills like you can go get a job i was tell just basically trying to motivate her and push her like let's go to work so basically like she really wasn't trying to hear what i was saying like she basically was just when i said when i'm telling her like you're giving up that was me telling her like you just gonna take this l like you just gonna let this eviction be on like your record like y'all it's so fucking hard to get another place after you got eviction because i literally got eviction back in 2018 which i told y'all and then on top of that to even help her understand that she was not alone, y'all. I literally told her my situation. I'm like, listen, you're not in this alone. I'm literally behind on my bills, too. Like, my people here, where, like, where I stay, like, they're literally, like, giving me, luckily, they'll, like, one thing about these apartments, they'll literally threaten you and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to evict you. But, y'all, I was paying my shit late. Like, I was paying my bills late. So, I'm trying to tell her, like, the same shit you're going through, I'm literally dealing with this. Now, the only thing is, my shit didn't make it to the court. But I'm telling her, like, this not the end of it. And then I'm even like, well, how much you short? Like, let me know because I can help you out. So, the only reason I'm even coming over here and saying all this is because, y'all, I generally, honestly, I felt like I did everything that I could to try to help her. And it's just like, what else do you fucking do? You, you like, I'm checking in on you. You don't want to go to work. Like, I'm making sure you okay. You barely text me back. I got to, like, double text you. I'm calling you. Like, you're not responding. What else am I supposed to do? There's nothing else for me to do. So, it's just, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. But I'm going to let y'all keep watching the video. Okay, y'all. Also, these next screenshots that I'm going to include is me basically just showing y'all, like, how I was constantly, like, reaching out to her and going out my way to help her, like, through the situation that she was going through. Because she had, like, car problems or whatever. And then, like... I was trying to help her with that and basically like she had posted a video and i really felt like she was talking about me in that video because we literally had like we was texting like the day before and i was trying to tell her some stuff and then literally like the next day you upload a video and basically the stuff you was talking in the video was basically relating to what we was texting about so that's why y'all see us like going back and forth me telling her like hey like i'm checking up on you so like she would come to the internet and tell y'all like i would not check up on her like she wouldn't say a name but well she said a name today but she would come to the internet and be like basically people wasn't checking up on her and then like i'll text her and i'm like wait who are these people you talking about she's like yeah you know i'm not talking about you because i know you be check checking up on me but that's what them screenshots is like i said you'll have to pause them if you want to read everything but i'm about to include them in there too
Y'all, after this, bitch, I'm, I'm so motherfucking good. Can't nobody else come to my house. Can't nobody stay with me. And I was telling y'all that during the summer, but I just didn't include her in it or whatever. Because I just feel like, for what? Like, bitch, you're my friend. But no, I'm not. No. Bitch is a dead ass be your friend and be low key hating you. Like, when was you going to tell me you hated me? You was going to keep being around me? Keep getting in the car? We keep hanging? I literally was just at your house who's making content. Like, when was you going to tell me? Why did it have to wait for this to come out? Like, I'm sorry if you felt like I wasn't a friend to you. I'm sorry that your phone got taken last night. I'm sorry that you had a bad experience in Atlanta. I'm sorry that you had to go through all that. But at the same time, how I learned to take accountability for all the shit I went through during the summertime, you need to learn to take accountability too. Like, take accountability for what you did. Take accountability for that. Because I told you not to rush and do certain stuff. I did. But, y'all, that's really it. I'm tired of going back and forth. Um, God bless her. Only thing I can do now is just keep pushing forward. Keep grinding. Keep working on what the fuck I need to work on for me and my motherfucking son. Getting us where we need to go, bitch. And that's really it. And then for somebody, for some, I'm going to say this and I'm, I'm going to end it at that. For somebody to wish you lose everything, that says a lot about them. That says a lot about them. Because, y'all, if I don't do nothing else, bitch, I'm a good-ass mom. And I'm really, like, a good-ass person. Like, I have a good-ass fucking heart. And for somebody to wish that you have nothing, knowing that you have somebody to take care of, that's, that speaks a lot about the care. Like, I don't want you to lose everything. Like, I don't. I want you to be on your shit. But that's what it is for this video. Yeah, so, bye, y'all.